we figured out how to create records as well as find them and read them, we're now going to look at how we can update them. And to update a record, it has to be a three-step process. So first we'd have to find the record and retrieve it from the database. Then we'd have to edit it and make our changes. And then finally, we have to save it to write the changes to the database. So in this example, if we have this entry right here and I want to add um, an extra item to the favorite foods array and I want to modify the age, I'm going to show you how I'd go about doing that. So the first thing we have to do is retrieve this document. And there's a few things that we can retrieve it by. So we can retrieve it by any of these fields, but I'm just going to retrieve it by name. So the first thing to do is call the find one method on the model because we're just updating one record. So it's a person dot find one. And inside we give an object with our desired properties and we wanted the name to be equal to this Natalie right here. So we put Natalie like this. Then we have a function that takes in error and result. And once again, if there was an error, we want to log the error so we can find out what happened. Otherwise, so this means that there is no error and this result contains something. We have the results to work with. So if I do console.log result like this and uh, I run the um, script file that I just created here, we can see that we've got our record to work with now. So now that we have this result, we can go about modifying the fields. And remember that this result is actually just a object and we have all of these fields right here. So if I wanted to update um, the age, let's say to like maybe 35, I don't know, this person's birthday or something. So we can do something like result.age is equal to 35 and we can just update it like this. And also, um, if we wanted to add to the favorite foods array, we wanted to add, let's say, spaghetti, we can do result dot favorite foods. And since we're adding an item, we can call the array push method here. And I can put spaghetti like this. I think that's how you spell it. I'm not sure. And let's have a look at the result again. So if we do console.log result and I run the script again, what this will do is it'll fetch it and then it'll update these fields and then we'll have a look at the result once it's completed. And as you can see, we've got the spaghetti added and we've got the age updated. Now, the final thing to do here is to actually write, because this object only exists on this machine right now. So we need to add it back into the database. And the way we can do that is we can just call the save method on the result. And because it's already got the, an object ID field, it won't create a new entry and it will just update this one right here. So we can call the results.save here. And again, this has a callback function that takes an error and let's say updated record. And once again, we can do whatever we want in here, but this doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm just gonna log the update of record, but um, it doesn't really matter what you do in here because this saving part is the important part. So if we do that, that now and we run the example.js, we can see that we've got the update of record right here. And if we go into the MongoDB database and I just refresh this, and we scroll down to our Natalie, we can see that the spaghetti has been added here and the age has been updated to 35. So that's essentially what we're going to be doing in this challenge. So what they have here is they have this, um, if I scroll down to the right part, we have this uh, function that says find, edit, and then save. And what it does is it takes in a person's ID and then we want to add this hamburger string to their favorite foods array. So the first thing we need to do here is to find that person by ID. And we can use find one with the um, person's ID in the object, or we can just call the person dot find by ID that was covered in the last challenge, I think. Uh, no, yeah, it was in the last challenge. So then we can give it the ID, which we've taken in by person ID here. And again, we'll have a callback function that has error and result. And here what we want to do is if once again, if there was an error, we can log it. Otherwise, 
what we can do is we have the results to work with and all we need to do is add this hamburger to whatever the result was to their favorite foods array so results dot favorite foods dot push and then this will add whatever string we give it since it's an array of strings and we can just give this food to add right here I actually think it would have been better if it takes in the food to add in the function but never mind so now that we've added it to the array, the fi final thing to do is to save it to the database. So we would just do result.save and once again this is a callback function with error and updated result and it doesn't really matter what we do in this function but I'm just going to do console.log updated result here but it should be okay now. Actually no it does matter what we do here. Um, if there was an error we want to log the error Otherwise, we want to give the um, update a record to the done function for checking. So we want to do done here. And again, the error is null. And we want to give it this updated record that we saved. And I'm just going to comment this part out. So what this will do is it'll find that, it'll take in this ID and it'll find that person by ID. And then to their favorite foods array, it'll push this food to add string. Then it will try and save it. And if there was an error, it will log it. Otherwise it'll call the done function and it'll give it this updated record. Oops, this should be updated result. And what this will then do is it'll be resolved into a JSON and then they'll check that it's working correctly. So that's all we really need to do here. So we can just copy this live app link and paste it in and hopefully that should work and yeah that's it